How's it going guys? This is a quick update video on the results of the worm casting experiment I did with regards to germination rates. Um, on the left side here we have seedlings uh, with 75% potting mix and 25% worm castings. On the right we have 25% horse manure, aged horse manure, and 75% potting mix. So, um, just to fill you in, each uh, comparable pair had the same seeds from the same package and the same number of seeds from those, from those same packages planted in each comparable pair. And they were put inside in the same temperature and the same amount of light and the same amount of humidity. So right away, you can see that the group on the left that was planted with the worm castings uh, has far more seedlings and the size is larger too because they germinated quicker. And on the right you can see that there are obviously less and they're in general smaller because of uh, you know slower germination. So just to zoom in here we have peppers, cucumbers, tomatoes, beans, zucchini, and peas at the back there. And the same seeds and the same amount of seeds and far less and far smaller. And I did a, a an official tally so you can see these types of seedlings on the left column here. And W stands for worm castings and M stands for aged horse manure. And you can see the worm castings beat the, the aged horse manure in almost every group except for the Roma tomato. Um, and in total, 34 germinated for the worm castings and 17 for the aged horse manure, giving a total of 2 to 1. But aside from those numbers, they germinated faster. And I'm in Canada, so I have a limited time to grow these vegetables. And so time is also of the essence, too. So not only do they do do they germinate more, they germinate faster with the worm castings. And that is really important to a lot of people with a, a growing season like mine. What are some of the knocks on this experiment? Um, a, um, the seeds. Uh, some of them were a year old or two years old. So that could have produced some erratic results. But again, this was as apples to apples uh, as I could with what I had. Um, and the second thing that comes to my mind is uh, the quality of worm castings used. And I'm going to do another video showing the worm castings that I used and how I determined whether those were uh, ready to use. Um, you know, you can do a couple different things, such as a smell test or a visual test, uh, a field test, you know. So I'm going to go through what I did to determine whether those castings were ready and those nutrients were available for the plants to, to, to use. Um, so those are quickly the, the two things that come on to my mind when doing an experiment like this. By no means was it a perfect experiment, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, more to come. All right, thanks. Bye.